Hey everyone, Kyle once again, and welcome back to another video, and, uh, well, <clears throat> well, let's just go get, uh, two more, sadly, more very good actors, sadly, has passed away, you know, like I said, this year is, this year just been really, I think this is one of the most suckiest years I've, I've seen in a, in a while, because so many good actors have passed away from this year, from Fred Ward, to Bob Saget, Ray Liotta, among many others I've named so far off this year, you know. So two more has passed away. I'll quickly talk about the one that has passed recently before the before the one I'm talking about. But um, earlier, um, um, I forgot her name. God dang it. Uh, Carol, was it Carolyn Pat? Carolyn Pat, I think it was, um, who voiced Ursula from The Little Mermaid. She passed away earlier. Um, not that long ago, ago like, like over a month ago. Well, another classic Disney voice actress has now passed away. It's been a couple of days though, but uh, I know she's been. Uh, um, what was it? Uh, she's known for what was it? Um, the Mur Murder She Wrote, or the, what was the TV show? Was it Murder She Wrote, or the some some? I think, I think it was that TV. I think that was the name of it. But um, Adria Lansbury passed away at the age of ninety six. Oh, yes, she was known for that TV show that was called the or the Mur murder she, murder she wrote I think, but um, but she was also known for voicing Mrs. Potts from Beauty and the Beast. Yeah, Mrs. Potts from Beauty from Beauty and the Beast. Andrea Lansbury she passed away at the age of ninety six, and it was funny that you know when she sang in the movie when she first started singing the song Beauty and the Beast. I think that's. I think that she got that all in one take. She sang that song without any, uh, any, any having any do overs at all. I think she sang that. She sang that song only on one take, and I think that's like, that was those. That, that was pretty. Um, I think I did mention that when I reviewed Beauty of the Beast long ago, you know, because I think I did not know that back then. I think though, but yeah, apparently she sang that that song all in one take. Beauty and the Beast. Yeah, the famous song where where they're all dancing in the ballroom and all that, and that was that was but that was pretty that was that was cool doing it all in one take. Hey, if you if you do that all in one take, it'll save you a lot of time for doing any do overs, you know. <laughs> but yeah, Mrs. Potts from Beauty and the Beast. Yeah, so Andrea Lansbury, another another good actress for playing another iconic Disney voice role in Disney. Like I said, it was Carolyn, it was Carolyn Pata was, who, vo who voiced Ursula from The Little Mermaid. And even last year, I think it was even last year or so, it was um, uh, Samuel Samuel E. Wright, who voiced uh, uh, Sebastian. He passed away, too, you know, although I think it was from last year. But yeah, and now, now Andrea Lansbury, Mrs. Potts from Beauty and the Beast, now has passed away. So make sure you miss him. Make sure you rest in peace now. And now back on the other, on the other one who just passed away as of now. Um, another uh, another uh, uh, iconic character from the world of Harry Potter, because you know sometimes some years ago Alan Rickman, you know, which I loved Alan Rickman, playing Cerberus Snape, you know, passed away like a few years after when Harry Potter finished, you know, and. Yeah, I think it was twenty. I think he died in twenty sixteen or fifteen. I think though. But another actor who played a very uh, classic character from Harry Potter, Robert Coltrane, known for playing Hagrid. You know the big, the big friendly giant from Harry from the Harry Potter movies, Hagrid. Yeah, Robert Coltrane. Yeah, he, he's now he sadly he's now passed away at the age of seventy two. And. Like I said, I'm not really big on the. Now, first of all, I'm not really big on the Harry Potter movies. I like some of the. I like some of them, but I'm. I, I would not consider myself that huge of a fan of Harry Potter overall. But uh, the actors, like, like I said, like Alan Rickman, who I loved from Die Hard, Among Men, the movie, uh, Quickly Down Under. I liked him when he played Service Snape. It was sad that I heard he passed away. You know, he, always, he to me he always be Hans Gruber from Die Hard. Do you think I have a chance against us, Mr. Cowboy? <laughs> but Robert, Co Robert Coltrane as Hagrid, the big friendly giant, you know. And also Robert Coltrane, also one of his early roles, he jo he started in the, um, 
that that fantasy film which I really did enjoy called Crawl, um, which also had an early role for Liam Neeson as well. Crawl, I think, is a very underrated, cool fantasy movie. You know, especially when it stars uh, stars one of the badass weapons. You know, the glaive, the flinging star weapon, the glaive, cool weapon. I, I enjoy Crawl. That's a really good fantasy movie, you know. And Robert Crawl, Robert Crawl Train, he was one of his early roles. He um, started. In it. He was like one of the prisoners. And uh, also, he's also known for uh, playing um, uh, Valentine in um, two of the James Bond movies with Pierce Bronson. You know, he was in, he was in Golden Eye, and then later he starred in The World's Not Enough as as as, Val- as Valentine. So not only not only in Harry Potter, but also a couple of the James Bond movies as well, and uh, which I was I liked it when he had his moment in um, which I wasn't big I wasn't a fan of the world's not enough though. But Robert Coltrane as Valentine, I liked it when he um, started becoming a real uh, ba- a little bit badass, you know, at the towards the end of the movie where he started taking out some some bad guys as well, you know, even killing his own backstabbing um, guy that uh, was supposed to be like his assistant a bullion. And and uh, he, he he which he backstabbed uh, Valentine, and then we say, "Oh, boss, so I'm glad I'm glad here. I'm so good to see you." And then Barbara Coltrane's like, "Me too." And just goes and shoots him. <laughs> I like that, you know. And then when he sadly when he got shot by Electra, you know that um, no, not the Marvel Electra, the the woman in the movie Electra. Sadly, when he got shot though, but he um he used his little he had his little he had his cane. Um, which it was also like a gun too, so he had used that to um, free uh, Pierce Bronson um, as James Bond. He freed him from his um, little uh, shackle so he can get loose, you know. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, Robert Coltrane, yeah. Uh, so I, I liked him in the t- uh, Golden Eye and uh, World's Not Enough though in James Bond, but I wouldn't probably know him as uh, as Hagrid from Harry Potter, you know. So sadly, he passed away at the age of seventy two, you know. So. Two more, two uh, good actors has now passed away. Just this year, just keeps on, just keeps on giving, you know. <laughs> and recently, uh, passed away of, of rapper Coolio, which I mentioned. Which um, that's gonna be another movie review. That'll be that's gonna be coming up, you know, a movie review that's uh, stars Coolio, you know. So that's uh, that's gonna be, I'm gonna upload that one. But uh, yeah, yeah, this year just um. <laughs> This does uh, sucked, you know. I think this is one of the worst ones I've seen where all these good actors have passed away. Like I said, Bob Hoskins, Ray Liotta, James Caan, Fred Ward, um, David Warner. There's so many other actors I, I did. I just can't, can't remember how, every one of them, you know. But yeah. So you have two more for the list. And, and also recently, Coolio as well, I mentioned. But two, uh, two more actors now good has now passed away though. Yeah, especially uh, uh, for a classic character from Harry Potter, you know, Hagrid. Yeah, that big friendly giant, you know. <laughs> but yeah, so rest in peace to Andrea Lansbury to Robert Coltrane. So yeah, but um, anyway, but that's um, but that's another video, and I just, I just, um, I just uploaded my movie review of the Black Phone. You can check that out. And then upload the upload the next movie review, which I said I mentioned Coolio who recently passed away, so there's another movie review I'm gonna be uploading a star as him, so but yeah. So that's my that's my uh to my the next video, so stay thanks for watching, stay tuned for the next video and uh, next episode review, and we'll see you all next time. Once again, rest in peace to Andrea Lansbury and Robert Coltrane. Later.